Uh, I'm here today to talk about understanding your component ecosystem. So introducing like a small problem. Um, the problem is we build these uh, React applications and we start off you know, with 10 components, 20 components, 100 components, 500 components, Facebook has thousands of components. And it's kind of, it, you end up with this big uh, spiral, spiraling, uh, not mess of components because they're all nicely encapsulated, but you don't really understand how all these components fit together as a global ecosystem. Whenever we're working with components, it's, it's just individually. And for newcomers coming into these code bases, trying to explore your code base, trying to understand all these components, uh, it's kind of, it's, it is really difficult. It's hard for them to find. So my uh, thought at the minute is it's impossible to fully understand your component ecosystem with existing tooling. Uh, what uh, is the solution and what are we kind of doing a lot of? We just saw an example of that, living style guides, uh, stuff like Cosmos, React Style Guidist, Atelier, React Storybook. Um, these all take that big uh, list of components that you have and flatten it out, allow you to explore all these components in your ecosystem. But what does that give us? That All that gives us is, it allows us to kind of answer this query, which is, uh, give me a component, tell me its props, describe it to me and tell me what it can look like. However, what we don't get from that is a lot of useful analytics. There's so much more metadata that we can grasp from that component. Uh, so what else can we do to kind of um, enhance that? Well, in extra information that we can get out of this component is where is it used, how is it used, um, what's dependent on it, uh, you know, if I am going to kind of uh, be refactoring a component, um, how, uh, how is it going to affect the global ecosystem, like what are my most used props, what are my most used components, how, what are the variations of props, you may even have props which are never used, with props which are, uh, you have a default set and actually you override that default in a majority of use cases. So how can we kind of enhance the existing tools? Um, well, we can create an engine. Uh, so this engine takes your ecosystem, it takes your application, it passes that, it uh, throws out kind of a structured manifest that details uh, information about those components. It can resolve prop types through imports, et cetera. Um, it can resolve dependencies of your components. It, it knows how your components are built up. Um, developer tools can speak to this, IDEs can communicate with this engine, uh, living style guides can use it to pull out extra information about these components, um, and analysts you can generate kind of quite powerful analytics. All of this can be uh, powered by plugin pipelines that allow for very custom use cases. We write components in many different ways. We use different uh, styling, uh, CSS modules, uh, global CSS, there's so many extra bits of metadata that we can pull out. And these are some of the, kind of the statements that we can start building up once we have all this information. Uh, for example, like we say that view button link are our three most reference components. We've now got an understanding of, we kind of roughly know when we're building these applications, um, what our, the, the, the abstractions that we use daily, but we don't really know exactly kind of what are the most kind of used. Um, we can view all of those. In the pull request, uh, it can tell you James has updated a component X and uh, five other five other components depend on that. Like we can pull those out. In you could filter down your style guide in a pull request to say, here are just the components that are being affected. Um, and you could, like I say, you can pull out redundant props and all of this kind of extra information once you build up this kind of component graph. Um, so this is the point where I say, uh, here's this big thing that we've built and it just does this and you can go and use it today. Um, we are building something. Uh, it's called ReconJS. Um, the repo is there. There's not much we can really do with it at the minute, um, but it, it's kind of, it's pretty close. It's coming soon. Um, it's going to be intelligence for React applications. The idea is that we will be able to provide uh, all, of this, all of this metadata about your components and about those components in the ecosystem to the tools like uh, kind of React Style Guide, Udist, and uh, Storybook, and to IDEs and other tools. Um, so yeah, ReconJS, uh, Go and starve it, look out for kind of future announcements about it. It'd be great to get some people using it, like getting some, uh, getting some integrations with tools uh, such as the living style guides that we see today. Thank you.